Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom and the sun is shining. Look at the sun. The dogs are excited because I'm actually half an hour late. 30 minutes late because it's Sunday. I stayed up late last night working on the book. Yes, I did too. I'm doing about two to 3,000 words a night. Yes, typing away. And that includes spelling mistakes too. All right, so this morning we woke up to minus two Celsius, but feels like minus two Celsius, the twin numbers. So on the yo-yo scale, plus 28 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 28 Fahrenheit. Oh, those would be good summer temperatures if I lived in Florida, if that was Celsius. All right, it is Sunday. So make sure you have your vacuum. Ooh, look at the silhouette. Look at that, pretty tall today. Oh, and I emptied it already. Yeah, so it's Sunday and it's crisp, uh, crisp, clear morning. I'll try and scroll this way so you guys can see the sun, the glare. Now I can't see anything. Oh, the sun is in the south. Pretty soon it'll be on the other side of the trailers. Yes, it'll be dark when I'm standing out here in my sunglasses. All right. Today's project, if I'm sober enough, will be to build the second door. Yes, six months after the fact, we're going to build the second door. Yes, but I'm not sure. It's Sunday. We might find other things to do. Yes, maybe go on an Easter egg hunt. Maybe we'll chase the ladies. Oh, that sun is bright. on freaking real. Okay, I'm not having a good day already with this sun being so bright. Oh, and my head hurts. I mean, my eyes hurt from writing so much and enjoying beverage. Oh, that's a lot better. Look at how clean and organized the yard is. But this morning I woke up and my computer tried to upgrade itself to Windows 11. So then once I declined and declined and declined and re-hit it a couple of times and everything. And then it said it had to wanted me to sign into YouTube. I said no, because we don't do that because it could be a virus. So I clicked no, 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 and then they said they were going to send me uh, a code, okay? So I you know, clicked on for the phone number, and they tried to text me before they used to call and say 85960, you know, and then you wrote it down, you typed it in. Now they won't try sending texts. Unreal. So now I have a 72-hour uh, delay and they'll send me an upgraded password thing so I know that if I'm me or me. Unfrickin' real. How the world is trying to control everything. Unreal. It's a simple thing. Turn on the computer and see the world has turned into, I don't know, Sunday morning drama. So if one computer's doing it, the other two are going to start doing it. Unreal. So I'm going to have to get the staff to get more alcoholic beverage so I can make it through this tough time and the computer's doing the upgrade yes and she had a rough night last night but hopefully she's over the cold and then she'll learn she's got to drink more alcohol to keep her immune system strong like me i never get sick unless it's my cooking but then again i'm colorblind so i can't tell if the butter is green or not you know so i just cook away with it and it tastes a lot better on my toast when it's fuzzy oops i better not have said that all right, I better go. We're having a kind of a terrible day to say. Probably this isn't recording. I don't know. But oh well, we'll give it a try. Here comes the boss. Okay, because of the computer today, I'm a half an hour behind schedule. And as you can see on the thermometer in the shop here, it is down one notch below 50. So we, we, we quit yesterday. It was one notch above 50. So that meant that the shop kept the heat. That's a good thing to know. Okay, today's surprise, today's surprise project, okay, try and say that sober, is we have a problem in the loader shed here. So here's the camera to the house, right there. There's the thermometer that's hanging. Okay, I shut that heat off uh, last night and it's 15 degrees in here. It was 20. I kept turning the thermostat down back here. We only have the four baseboard heaters in here, so we don't need big power. Okay, and the 110 comes from the house. Okay, there's just enough room to walk. So what I did back in the day, all right, is that's the power line from the shop, and that's the air hose right here for the loader tires, because they were always going flat. So I bought new tires for the loader. We don't have a problem with it going flat. So we don't need the air hose. We don't need this big ugly wire. It has to go into the box here. 
and then it's reduced down to the thermostat okay for to control the heaters and this is the old system where the power goes to the heater first and then it's turned on and off or reduced with the thermostat up here we have the new system where the power goes to the thermostat and then to the heaters which makes sense right on off before the heater all right so let's rip all this ugly crap out and get started okay back 27 years ago we were tearing down the mine sites and stuff so we had this big fat ugly cable that came with the mine okay the mine recy recyclables or whatever so we utilized it this is the size of wire that we're going to put in and that's all the wire we have so we'll have to make it stretch or something we'll have to figure it out and it'll clean up the power panel and stuff the bench is a mess the shop's a mess because we need a rain day we should be doing this on a rain day because we're inside the buildings and only be out dry pulling the wire through the wall here also too we'll get rid of the air hose to the loader shed because all it does is freeze up in the winter all right let's get this project underway because the dogs want to get back in the loader shed where it's nice and warm and that's where their bed is okay lunchtime in the kingdom and i got the old uh, air hose and everything dragged out which is actually a hydraulic hose because we use that a lot around up here and we got the big ugly wire out yes it was a little struggle but that's no problem so we're short on that smaller wire so i went to the parts trader number eight and found some wire here that's going to be long enough i got the junction box and we got the thread in morettes with a little brass thing you use on your choke cable on your hot rods so that's the way i like doing those big wires because i don't trust those morettes that twist on i like it nice and tight so this is what this is what will get us to the fuse panel and then over here we ran out of the four wire thermostats yes we have a collection of thermostats because they're junk in the new world if you find them old ones you know like noah used on his boat like these really old ones those things still work but that's a two wire system and i found out that the four wire system is a lot better because it's power in on and off or whatever to the heaters the two wire system you sends the uh, half the power or whatever to the heater so i learned a long time ago to switch out and i think somebody on the internet told me to switch out to the four wire system it's a lot better so i had to go fighting through and how would you say find what i need but we can also if we didn't find one here we actually took it out of the, one of the cabooses if we didn't find one we could jimmy rig one of these in till we could order one from the south that's the joys of being at the end of the world we just don't run to the hardware store on a sunday afternoon to pick up what we need <laughs> and if we did travel the 300 kilometers or 12 hour round trip who said it's on the shelf so we got all our pieces laid out we're good to go let's have some lunch and finish this i doubt we'll be able to get working on the door because this little electrical project's turned into be quite big with me getting lots of exercise going back and forth to the storage traders all right let's go have some lunch okay coffee time in the kingdom and the dogs are in and out because i've got the electrical done yes this turned out pretty good we got the extra cord up there everything is siliconed in and we have the thermostat here all right so we've marked on here what 15 is and what actually it will be the temperature is yet to be determined but the heaters are on to bring the temperature up sunday morning in whoville and you can see it's pretty frosty out there still even my railing is and that's not very safe i don't want to trip and fall down that and it's also really foggy out there as well it wasn't that bad when i got up but now the fog seems to be rolling in now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out not sure what i'll be doing today because i feel even worse than yesterday after breakfast now it's time to head to the kingdom and go grab my dad's bedding and his dog beds that way i can wash everything here because i do have the washer and the dryer as you can see it is pretty frosty out this morning look at all this now let's head on over just got back from the kingdom and it's time to start my dad's bedding i have about four loads to do so that will take me a while and once i'm done i can head on back to the kingdom and drop everything off and see what he's doing after lunch after lunch and i figure i'd show you guys what i've slowly been doing in the basement here i'm not doing very much because i'm sick and it feels like i have to take a break every five minutes but i'm slowly stacking up my leftover wood and boxes here that way when i have room in my wood box i can cut them up or when the wood box gets empty and i need more wood i'll have it stored in here there's still a lot of space to go so we'll fill it up at some point 
As you can see, my wood pile's looking pretty good. You can't even see the puck art anymore. I still have to sort the stuff off to the left that I dropped down the wood hole the other day, but it's looking pretty good. And once I stack it too high, I'll just continue to put it into the wood room. That way it's out of the way and I'll be able to haul more over. Better do it now than to do it in the winter time at minus 50. Coffee time and I'm heading to the kingdom to go drop off all the laundry. I did about four loads today. I didn't get to dry the one, but that's okay. My dad has a dryer in the kingdom. As you can see, we got some clouds rolling in, so maybe it'll rain or snow. Just dropped all the bedding off in the kingdom and my dad asked me to go down the south trail and give a little update on the weather and how the trees are changing and all the pails and stuff that are down the trail, so we'll head on down. I think I'm going to go down the south one over here and I'll be coming out the other end on this side. I'll take it backwards. The boat is looking very good though. There's not many shadows today, so you can actually see it. Came across my first pail down the south trail. As you can see, you can actually kind of see the kingdom in between the trees there. I'm not very far in. This pail has holes in the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but there's holes in the bottom so that way when it rains, these pails don't get filled with water and they're a lot easier to handle. It's like some pretty cool glass in here. Nothing full though, sadly. We haven't found any full bottles in a little while. Now I'm down at what I like to call the Austin Powers Turnaround. If you remember those movies where you had to turn around that small little hallway and how funny that was, that's what I used to do here before we had the U-turn right here. This takes you onto the trail I just came from, and then this takes you over to the wood pile and mattress corner. As you can see in this pail, there's a car in here. Or an old truck or something, but that's pretty cool. Kind of squished though, but... Looks like it was an old vehicle, maybe, with the tires on there. I think that's pretty cool. I thought this was a full bottle until I pulled it out. I think this one has holes in it, too. Yep, has holes in it to make sure the water drains out so they're easier to carry. Not many leaves left on the trees, either. As you can see, it's pretty bare in here. There's a few leaves left on the corner here, but most of them have come off now. Next is winter, and I'm excited. I'm not excited to be dragging these trails and in the bush with the six feet of snow, etc., but it will be better than the bugs. Here we have Mattress Corner. I actually took the wrong turn and parked over there, but Mattress Corner is actually in this way. So we'll walk over here and give you guys a little look-see. Looks a lot different in here without all the leaves on the trees and without the mount that we cleaned up too. Looks a lot better. All those mattresses that were in here, there was one in this corner, there was one over there, there was some in the bush. There was a lot of mattresses here and we cleaned them all up. That's why it's called Mattress Corner. Look what I found when I was walking through the bush heading back to the quad. That says beehive corn syrup. That's pretty cool. It's the only thing that it says on here. Everything else seems to be rusted away. And I think it says golden. And then we have the weight of it on here. That's pretty cool. First time finding this in the bush. Right beside the beehive corn syrup, I found this little glass bottle. Look how tiny that is. Doesn't have any labels on it. And I think there's a recycling on the bottom there, but I'm going to take this back and clean it up and it can get added with my collection. Now I'm back at the wood pile. You can kind of see it through the bush over there. This is our glass corner that we cleaned up with the cat and the mini a couple weeks ago. After the few rains, you can actually see all the glass that's been popping up. So it'll make it a lot easier for us to clean the next time we're in the bush here. My dad has still been picking up glass since we cleaned it. But look at all this. Just little pieces of glass. Like, we'll be cleaning this for a while, and the more it rains and snows, it'll wash away all the dirt, and we'll be able to see. On my way back to the quad, I noticed these two green bottles sticking out. They even have, like, a little rivet and some imprints on them, but it doesn't say what they are, so I'm going to take these guys back and clean them up to add them to my collection. Right by the turn off to the wood pile, I'm not sure how we never noticed this, but if you look down, I seen this sticking out, it was a lot farther in, but I seen this sticking out, so I pulled it out, and look what it says! That is a 7-Up bottle! Wow, that is really cool! It'll have to get cleaned up and put in with my collection. Look at that! As I was digging back after finding this 7-Up bottle, I found another one. Look at this. This even says 7-Up on it, too. Someone really must have liked 7-Up. And I think this is a Wonder Bread bag. Not 100% sure, but that can go into the garbage. Well, that's crazy. All I did was stick my hand into this little hole, and I found these two bottles. That's cool. I'm pretty sure 
this is a 7-Up one too, because they look kind of the same. Just came out of the south trail here. I actually went in over there and I came out on this side. We even cleaned up over here that day we were hauling with Thor. We raked up on this side and we cleaned up all this so it's nice and smooth. It looks a lot better in the kingdom now, doesn't it? You can even see the boat off into the distance. After coffee and I just made it back from the kingdom, now it's time to head inside and wash up those bottles I found. That way I can do a little video on them for you guys. I know I have a 7-Up one somewhere that's smaller than the one I found today, so we're going to put them together and compare them. When I got back from the kingdom earlier, I noticed there was a little puddle in my yard. It wasn't looking that bad, and then I checked on a little while later, and it looks like I have a water main break right there. So hopefully the town of Whoville will come tomorrow, and they'll be digging up my whole front yard here. That way they can fix it. These are my two 7-Up bottles that I found in the kingdom so far. This is the one I found today. I did a quick little wipe down of it. It'll have to get a proper soak on the inside. I don't want to mess up the outside label here. And this is the bottle that I found a while ago in the kingdom. I've had this one for a long time, but look at the difference in them. They are completely two different bottles. We'll turn it over here. Sorry about my nose, I'm a little sick, but if you look at the back here, they have different writings and even the labels here are a bit different, so maybe one bottle's older than the other? I'm not 100% sure. Even in here, these ones are all different. That's pretty cool. Supper time now, and this is the temperature we're sitting at. It's 14 degrees Celsius, which is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind's kind of picking up, and it looked like it was going to rain there for a little bit. Then it cleared up, as you can see. Now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out, and then I think I'm going to go downstairs and move some more wood around. I'm not feeling the greatest, but i got to try my best, and that's the end of my day. Okay, and of course I didn't have the proper anchor for in the fuse panel there or whatever because it's too big of a hole but i'm not using the proper wire either okay as a disclaimer do not try this at home unless you've been drinking oh i shouldn't have said that okay so over here where the wire was too short i think that turned out pretty good using those brass insert uh marettes that's nice and tight i double checked everything and when i play around with it i double check it again so now i'm just checking to see if there's any more warmth to the wires if there's warmth to the wires, that means it's a loose connection. All right, let's go have some coffee. Okay, we got a mess in the shop, but that, which is okay because we're going to have a rain and snow day right away. And then we can have the wood stove going and clean up this mess and organize it. So I got the junction box there. I don't know what's the proper name for it. I wrote on it, Loader Heat 2023. So that's my memory. So up in here, I had great fun in the back. I don't know if we can see it back there. It's just tight, unreal, okay? But I got rid of the T and the valve and everything like that that sent uh, air to the loader shed. So that's gone, so less chance of leaking. Plus we have reusable fittings. You have to look at the bright side and the positive side. We have reusable items. Also too, between doing electrical today, I was grinding my coffee. Yes, grind my coffee. We got some coffee being sent to us. As a gift to the king, we thank the fellow who sent them, and we uh, smash them with the hammer. So that's how we grind the coffee at the, in the, at the end of the world. All right. Okay, when you figure out this tech wire came from the mine, the mine was built in, I think, 65, 66, somewhere in there. So who said that that's the age of this wire? It could be from the 1970s. You never know because they did an upgrade, okay? And then over here, I remember buying this hose back when I lived in Brandon. Uh, Manitoba, that's in the south. They hate me, okay? And I think I got this at uh, Northern Tractor Supply or something on Rosser Avenue across from Purse Dry Cleaning. So this hose is pretty old. It served its purpose as an air hose, but you know what? We're going to keep it because you never know. We might need it one more time. You never know. So I remember buying this hose and it had the funding ends on them. So one end was small and the one end was big. That's because... All right, let's scroll this way. Get ready for the sunshine. Because I was putting, oh, maybe I'll walk over there. Can we do the walk together? All right, hopefully we don't spill the beer. Oh wait, I didn't bring it. Okay, we got shadows. All right, so back, I think it was 87, 1987 when I bought the red crane cat. Oh, we still got shadows there. All right, so we bought the red crane cat and I was putting hydraulics on it. 
and the pump was out the front and we were going to run some hydraulic hoses on the boom so we could have a, like a grapple for loading scrap metal i remember buying the hoses back then so those hoses are pretty old just like my marriage if i was still married all right okay to finish out today i'm standing over here in the corner of the yard or the kingdom yes the wind's getting up that's the original winter freighting caboose right there and the wings from the beach 18 the wrong one we salvaged but over here we have the little mini barge that we use for salvaging the airplane the ramp out and a few other items okay so we're not sure if it's going to be in the road because we want to be able to get through here with the cat trains you know but i think there might be just enough room to wiggle in because you got to remember that these cat trains are sleighs self steer so this 90 degree corner here shouldn't be a problem i don't know maybe i'll back up but it sure is some nice views here yes i think we might have just enough room okay because we got the yard pretty cleaned up and with them self steering i think we'll make it we really didn't take the sleighs this way last year because this wasn't really part of our trail but we need the background of green trees for the photos all right let's go check on the flags because it's almost the end of the day we're going to quit early by 10 minutes okay end of the day we're quitting early by 10 minutes and by the looks of it the white ford of my neighbors is still at his shop so that means he must have to order parts for it so it'll be broken or down for a week because that's the joys of living at the end of the world we have to wait a week or it takes a week to get parts to the end of the world oh the joys of the new world there was a time when we could order at four o'clock in the afternoon and have it the next day at 1 30 in the afternoon i'm standing here blocking the sun as i'm blocking the sun with the trees yes the trees are in the south the sun is in the south everything is looking good look at the flags in their natural state of flying free excellent well let's go walk the dogs enjoy some beer make a video and we'll talk to you guys later